I guess my story starts with the death of my father. Dad had been ill for a long time and I was 11 at that stage and I'd kind of got used to him being ill. He was always in and out of hospital. So I wasn't really expecting to hear the news. And I was at school, uh, my best friend's mum came and got me to come home. Mum wanted to see me and that's the time when she sat me down and, and told me that Dad had gone. And that's the time that I really started to question actually, you know, is there a God? If, you know, I've been brought up a Christian, going to Sunday school each morning, um, you know, surely if there was a God, then my dad would still be here. We were living with my grandmother at the time and dad died at home in mum and dad's bedroom. Mum wanted to move. My grandmother took that the wrong way and kicked us out. It was kind of a rather drastic change. We moved up to Norfolk, that's where family were, until kind of mum pulled us together. Time moved on, got married, had a couple of wonderful children, but there was something missing in my life. I would see a particularly beautiful scene or just the, the sunlight hitting the, the trees and there would be joy, there would be pleasure, but there would be a hole. God was definitely there. I felt him regularly knocking on the door. He was kind of saying, can I come in? Um, and that's just not happening. Mum was a, a wonderful woman, she'd, she'd brought us up single-handedly for all those years and her death knocked me sideways. I don't know what triggered it but I'm, suddenly the emotions came right to the surface and I was crying my eyes out and it's just like enough, I can't go on like this. And without any thought I just cried out to God to help me and within those seconds he answered, he heard me. I felt the most reassuring calmness. It was almost like somebody had come down and they'd wrapped themselves around me, giving me a massive hug. And, and I knew that was God responding, that was God saying, I'm here and I'll help you through this. And that's the moment that I knew God exists. At one point I passed a poster for Alpha. And I think the question was, have you ever wondered what life is about? Um, so I said to a um, friend Elsa, I said, well, what is this all about? And she explained what Alpha was as a safe place to, to come along and to be able to ask questions about God, about faith and religion in an environment where you're not judged and you can't say anything stupid. So she said, why don't you come along? And I did, and I guess that was you know, quite a, a, a big step forward for me. And there's no pressure in Alpha. You can walk away and hopefully at the least of it you'll walk away and made a few friends um, and had a nice meal. Or you can walk away and say actually there's a little bit more to this. And that was me. Um, so Holy Spirit Day is, is kind of crunch point of the Alpha in many ways. And, and that was the moment for me that I asked Jesus into my life. Alpha played such a significant role. Um, without that space to ask questions. I don't think I would have made this journey.